Well, 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 hello everyone, welcome back. We are here, we are ready to roll. I have so many episodes in the vault for you. But as you know, if you've listened for more than two seasons, you know that I always start every season with my husband and a special guest. So I know you've met my husband and our pastor, you've met my husband and his assistant, you've met my husband and our therapist, and now you're about to meet our roommates. So (laughs) this is a super fun episode. Enjoy our talk with Taylor Klein and Whitney Bates, Auntie Hey Hey and Auntie Nini, who live with us. Hey, if you want a backstage glimpse, you're about to hear it. Enjoy. <laughs> okay, everyone. Seen the truth. Okay, everyone. We have our roomies here today. <laughs> this is super fun. So <laughs> our two sisters live with us and have lived with us a long time. Okay, a long we time. We were trying to add up yeah. too long. at I dinner last we night. Couldn't. We were trying to add up like how long y'all have all, lived. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's been, been a long wild. time. But we yeah. have it, we have our roomies here today. Well, they're here. <laughs> they're <laughs> here we're and here. they're alive in the flesh. <laughs> the tea. <laughs> all the tea. Oh, wow. We've been all the for fight. This day. Did you guys talk before this? That's what I want to know. All the fights that they've witnessed. Uh, and um, do you want to, let's just get out of the gate with letting them know that you witness all their fights on the front porches. Oh, oh yeah. yeah I, let's I, have just, I have heard a couple. Let's just. I have heard a couple things. Okay. No. Oh, geez. We, have, we have Whitney Bates and yeah, Taylor he's... Klein here. Taylor does not seem worried. Whitney seems very worried. <laughs> I okay. didn't think that thing worked. Taylor is my biological <laughs> sister. Whitney is Dustin's biological sister. They have lived with us for a long time. They are both in relationships, and that has been a super fun part of the last few years <laughs> because we have a ring camera. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know if it's working right now, technically, oh. so you is, might be all Is it not now? So, <laughs> really, D? <laughs> so tonight would be a good time to have you fight with your boyfriend. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's right. I think Whitney usually stays out of the frame just <laughs> enough on the on the good nights. <laughs> oh, man. I've got it figured out. Uh, Dustin is the most noisy person oh, wow. in our oh, family, no. I think. Right, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Probably, I guess, in the family. Yeah, I think yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit him. nosy, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I mean, I'm not watching the ring all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but if you guys are out there for 30 minutes with a boyfriend, Dustin's going to check in yeah. oh. <laughs> via the digital. <laughs> Good to be That's aware fair. of. I'm That's glad fair. that we now know this. Wow, yeah. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> like to tell you right here on the air so you can't do anything about it. <laughs> okay, so let's go back. Whitney, you came to live with us really early on. Yes. When we came when, to Texas. Yes. So when how was born. When, when Jude, Jude was born, so mm-hmm. eight years ago. Yep. Well, well before were, Jude yeah, was born. Before. Oh yeah, it was no, because before. You, a couple years. You before. moved out yep. for a little while while Jude was born. That's right. For yep. two years. That's right. Yep. Yeah. So because I moved in right when y'all, a year after y'all moved here. Yep. And then. So you've yeah. been here twelve years. Oh, holy cow! That's crazy. That's cool. July will be fourteen years oh, for us. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. So, yeah. That's crazy. Wow. I still remember Whit when you were here. And Jude was a baby, and you were going on a mission trip to Thailand. Oh, yeah. Remember this? I don't and I was like, I can't. Story. Oh, when it, I can't yes. have Whitney leave. No. Yes. Oh, no, she'll, I she'll do remember, remember that. Oh, yeah. Yes. I was so postpartum. Yes. <laughs> in every way. Oh, and you were about to lead a mission oh. trip that I was, like, sh- supposed to be leading. Yes. <laughs> and I was there with a the newborn, and you were leaving. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I don't think yes. she can. And that was in the little townhouse. The little townhouse, yeah. Yep. Oh my goodness. And I used to, I used to <laughs> tell you. So <laughs> for the listeners, this townhouse was tiny, very tiny. It I was loved tiny. that townhouse. I did it too. It was the best. Yeah. But it was tiny, and I was such a paranoid mother <laughs> with a newborn that I would make Whitney put the <laughs> app on her <laughs> phone. Yep. To listen to Jude as a mm-hmm. newborn in two, like yes. maybe 10 feet away. Yep. Oh. Literally, right. and, she, and one time she was like, I'll hear him. And I was like, no, nope, no, nope, you need the app. You need the app. I was like, you need the app. Oh, so Whitney's amazing. been with us forever, oh. forever, mm-hmm. forever. Yes. And then you moved out for a couple years yep. before we had kids. Mm-hmm. For like two years. Was it like two years? Two yep. years, yeah. I think. Two years. Yep. Mm-hmm. You lived with Liv. Yep. Dasha, shout out, Liv. Liv. <laughs> Dasha, shout out, Dasha. Dasha. So much fun. But then you came back to us. Yes. And then Taylor came mm-hmm. to us. How? What was that? 
six years ago. Six years ago. Whoa. Six years. So, so right Genesis after Jen was, was just born. born. Yeah, Jen was just born, and Jude wasn't walking. Wow. Yeah, they were baby. They were baby. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, you guys crazy. didn't know we weren't well. No, yeah, that's what I was about to say. Not yes. at all. Yeah. yeah. No. yeah. So this is the cool thing about God and how he orchestrates things. Because you guys didn't know each other hardly. Because I knew you, Mm -hmm. like all my sisters knew you from Cup of Joe, but not Mm -hmm. Taylor. Yep. And so she comes in and Mm -hmm. you both move in with us. Yep. And it could have been problematic because it's like, oh boy. (laughs) Who is this personality? (laughs) We've got D. Mm -hmm. Don't need to expound on that. We've got (laughs) me. We've got me. (laughs) And then we've got two, like, yeah. And... Tell tell me about y'all's like friendship because oh my you're annoyingly close <laughs> yeah we're yeah. <laughs> people hate us for it sorry people don't like it <laughs> our boyfriends uh, are jealous our boyfriends are both jealous <laughs> <laughs> we're I working through there that. last night <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah it took wait, how many it years took a while we, yeah it took like three years mm-hmm. probably before we actually got close yeah. we always liked yeah. each other but yeah. we weren't yeah. like there wasn't beef no, no not yeah. at all not at all like, we've so what, what made you guys yeah. get close I don't know. What was it? We just had fun. I think maybe I broke up with like an ex boyfriend or <laughs> yeah. something. Oh, yeah. That, that was it. And I think that like was I it. needed a, a sound it. listening ear. Yes. Oh. And that was with like it. the most empathetic. Oh. And then we kind of connected through my yeah. my heartbreak. <laughs> really? <laughs> break us real I was break actually telling a story it. last night to some friends about oh, no. uh, one day that I did come home and. Oh, no. I, there was literally. <laughs> oh, no, I'm so nervous. There was literally <laughs> audible crying. <laughs> Coming from both of your rooms. Came home, There's long day of work, oh came God. in, heard crying from both rooms, oh turned around, went out, got back in the car, went back to work. You didn't come comfortable. I'm sorry, oh. I didn't. Oh it was too much. It was, it was too much. That's funny. You can't manage the ring. Oh. camera all the time and your bedroom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah. True. That was a while ago though. Good. That was a that was a yeah, long time yeah, ago. Yeah. Yeah. Come yeah. A lot of water under the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> There's lots of water. We've all, we've under all. This bridge. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys got really close though. Oh yeah. yeah. So quickly too. Yes. Yeah. So once quick. we started hanging out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was weird. It was kind of like the ice broke and then we were just like besties. Yeah. Like it was yeah. really, really special. Yeah. Yeah. Now like and I think like it. Taylor when you moved here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like ta- speaking to like sisters, yeah, yeah. Everybody says we're the we're identical. Yes. Like you Aww. met a guy at Kroger. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. And I oh. swear he <laughs> like he he was so friendly with you, and you were creeped out, but he thought you. were Yeah, and I was super Aww. creeped out, and I texted yeah. Jamie, and I was like, "Hey, this yeah, and I was dude like, oh, at no, Kroger, that's my boy. Yeah, <laughs> I got that's my Kroger guy. Yes, like, he's the best. Like, and I've had people. We're tight. We're very close. I love yeah." <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so everybody says that, like, we're so alike. Oh, my gosh. You're, mm-hmm. like, when back in the day, I would yeah, be like, yeah. you, when I'm, when I'm out, you go set up front. Yes, so people yes. People think I'm there. I've but, done that. Yes. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Back of my head. <laughs> but we are not alike. Yeah. Deep, deep down. Yeah, not deep, and deep down. And I think that's, like, one of the things I want to, like, dig into during this Love whole it. thing is, like, yeah. yeah. Is, like, you can, like, get put into a family box. yeah. You know, like, yeah. oh, you're just like, like everybody thinks I'm like mom. Right. But mm-hmm. I, I'm, I, I'm like mom in personality. Yeah. yeah. We're like, you're we're, like e- we're like each other in personality. Yeah, mm-hmm. completely. Oh, we can, yeah, we operate exactly the same. I'm yeah. the same. Yeah. But yeah. we're not alike. No, our processing is so different. Yeah. And I think yeah. that it took us a while to figure that out. Yeah, mm-hmm. totally. I say the first couple of years, I was like, we're twins. It was, we're yeah. the exact same. I yeah. even tried to like probably form somewhat like mm-hmm. to what I thought that you, yeah. how you would feel yeah. because I felt that, but. Yeah. You did such a good job at making sure. I don't think I always did such a good job. But Lately. I like to think. But I like Lately. to think. I, learned, I like to think I learned. I like You're to doing think good I, now. Yeah. I like to We've learn. seen growth. <laughs> and I think you helped me grow with Taylor Aww. and Aww. I's relationship. Aww. And I would say I've helped you grow with your and Whitney's relationship. Yeah, for real. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's because so sweet. Sure. Yeah. I very much like. Uh, like have all the grace in the world for Whitney. Yeah. But back in the day, I'd be like Taylor. Yeah. I know what sh- I know exactly. What- <laughs> you know, like totally. You'd be like, no, no, no. Mm-hmm. And so the the dynamic of like living together and then being family on top of it. Yeah. 
Yeah. And your aunties to our boys. And Best. we love you and think we know everything that's right for your lives. Yeah. <laughs> and we know everything. <laughs> they laugh. They look at each other and laugh at us. <laughs> like, wow. Like, we think we know everything that's right for your lives. Like, if you would just give us control of your lives, <laughs> it would be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but that is not life. That is not humanity. That yeah. is not relationships. That's not sisters. That's not parents mm-hmm. and kids. That's, that is. And so I just want to talk about how like we all have such a good relationship. Yeah. Hashtag for real. quarantine. Ooh. Right. Hey, we had quarantine some good time. Okay, let, let's side, let's like take oh. a sidebar on quarantine. Dee, tell oh. us about oh, man. We barely <laughs> and I don't think people understand. That was like so just fun. because we live together, we don't we don't yeah. Yeah, no, we don't Well, that's probably like the Yeah, talk about that. The yeah. most um I think that's what's made this work a lot is mm-hmm. probably for Taylor Whitney, your guys' flexibility with us and patience with yeah. us and our schedule and you being able to lead your own life right. without yeah. um, a ton of expectations on us yeah, they've, they or whatever. They have been so gracious. Because there's like months we go oh, months. Oh, sometimes yes. without, without even seeing up. each yes. other, yep. hanging out. Literally. Um, but then quarantine – Happened. We got to us get together. Some all came <laughs> together. I feel like we all came together in quarantine. We came together. Right? We were, we that was a tough time. <laughs> Thank we you, COVID. Were, we, it was only the four of us. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, after eight. When yeah. the boys go down. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it was just us. Oh. And hanging. Up late. Hanging. I mean, I think Fires that they got y'all into TikTok Pushing a Whitney. Bit. Yeah, we got them on we TikTok. We learned TikTok. <laughs> Pushing Whitney into the pool. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But I think, like, God is so good in, like, seasons of things, you yeah. know? And I think Taylor and I had to, like, work through our seasons of, like, mm-hmm. big sister, little sister. And also, she's a— She's an adult. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're an adult. You're your own person. You're not me. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, and I think so often we can put, especially with family, like, oh, you're like me. Like, you should do it like me. You should think totally. like me. And I think we really broke through. So I don't know when we broke through it. Yeah. But I don't Quarantine. either, but we definitely <laughs> did it all. Take yes. all <laughs> Swimming pool. Yes. <laughs> But oh. I think like I don't know when that was either. But I remember. I remember. It, like, yeah, I don't yeah. remember a time, but I definitely remember that. There was like a shift mm-hmm. in y'all's relationship. I think in mm-hmm. you and just the way that you saw, yeah, like that relationship and that Taylor is different and mm-hmm. is her own person and, that's okay. and is an adult and right. makes wise decisions and. Thank you. Um, <laughs> 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 but I think you really saw yeah. that. Like you yeah, saw that that yeah. sometimes. I think maybe you could impress some of those things. Of like, do this, yeah. do this. But I never did it to Whitney. Yeah, I did it to Whitney. And that's the issue. Yeah, and Dustin never did it yeah, to Whitney. Yeah, no. yeah, so. See? You're baby <laughs> to death. No. <laughs> baby to death oh, by Dustin. Baby for a reason. <laughs> Taylor walks in looking sad, and Dustin's like, what can I get? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh man. That's but I, that's really interesting, though. And this is what I want to, like, really unpack in this is, like, family dynamics, living together, and growing as our own people while still maintaining, mm-hmm. you know, like yeah. maintaining close relationships because we are all tight. We're so right. close. Like we're mm-hmm. so right. tight, yeah. but we are all different people. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. And I think that's how you help my relationship with Whitney mm-hmm. because how you were to Taylor, I yeah. I was to Whitney of mm-hmm. like, you need exactly. to do it this way or you need to, well, you know, whatever. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Or, um, totally. Yeah. Right? Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Can I hear a name? Not strong anymore. amen over to Wendy. <laughs> We've come so far. Well, you've helped me with that. Yeah. And just like, hey, let her make her decisions yeah. mm-hmm. and yep. um, we've all grown together. <laughs> yes. We really have. Grown we have. Together. We have. We've been through a lot. Yeah. So Taylor is a teacher <laughs> I am. in our school. And An Whitney. amazing teacher. Oh, Helps our kids to read. First well, Genesis grade. is almost. Mm-hmm. We're, we're, he is doing amazing. Okay, he we're is working reading. on some sight words. I mean. <laughs> yeah. He read me three books the other night. Oh, in a row. He's doing bang, incredible. bang, bang. Yeah. yeah. It's wild. They're just yeah. little reading machines. <laughs> <laughs> and Whitney's about to be a nurse. Yes. It is amazing. And Incredible so, compassion. Whitney, you. tell me about your process, because I, I know it, like, but I want I want to let you tell it. Your whole family's in ministry. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of been a thing that's out there. Yeah. Like, we're all in ministry. We all mm-hmm. love God's people. We all are, you know, and you chose to go into nursing. Mm-hmm. What was that process? Yeah. Was it hard? Mm-hmm. And how do you, where are you at now with that? Yeah, for sure. I think it was a long journey of like kind of a battle of like, mm-hmm. 
the expectation of my family, you know, versus like what I really wanted to do, what I was like, mm-hmm. passionate about. And I think for a long time I'd wanted to be a nurse, but I was just kind of like, oh, I don't know. And that, you know, mm-hmm. like working for Dean, my brother, you know, like yep. he's my pastor and I look mm-hmm. up to him. So it was so hard to be like feeling almost like I owed it to him to stay working mm-hmm. in a sense. Mm-hmm. And I think um, he was so you compassionate. Did. <laughs> hey! Oh <laughs> boy, everyone! Oh, somebody call Randy. <laughs> oh, yeah. but I, I remember, talked to him this morning. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, wonderful news. <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> so bad. Wow. Oh, but you were saying like you but kind yeah. of felt the family pressure. Not yeah. in, in, it's not in a bad. Nothing bad on the family. No, not it's like totally I made Taylor self- feel things. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah it's totally. Just, yeah, I think it's totally self inflicted. Like yep. all on me. Like what I would think about mm-hmm. it. But like. Um, um, I think as time went on, I just was like, what am I passionate about? Mm-hmm. And like, I had remember talking to D about it and every time we would meet and he was just like, you got to go with what you feel, like what mm-hmm. do you feel is right and what you're passionate about? And he was always so great, like mm-hmm. gave me no reason to be like, oh, I owe this to you yeah. or like, I need to stay yeah. here. I'm stuck here. Never. Yeah. Um, he was always supportive of my dreams and my calling. Yeah. And I think I just realized like, okay, my ministry doesn't have to be like on staff at a church. It can mm-hmm. look different. And mm-hmm. oh, um, when I took that step, like God has just blessed me so much. And I Big just time. feel like, yeah. whoa, <laughs> yeah. like this is where I'm supposed to be. And like day to day when I see patients at the mm-hmm. hospital, I'm like, oh my goodness, I get to pour mm-hmm. into their lives and this is my mission field. Like yeah. wow. I still get to do missions, if you will. You know, yeah. like it's yeah. just really, really cool. So I, I think sometimes we can get so stuck in this is missions. Mm-hmm. This yeah. is ministry. Yeah. This is whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's like you did missions for a long time. COVID right. hit. Yep. Think you readjusted around yeah. here and then all of a sudden now you're sitting with burn victims all yeah. night. You're sitting Literally. with yeah. people who are dying from alcoholism <laughs> yeah. all night. Right. Mm-hmm. You're like, and you're praying yeah. with them. You're yep. sharing the gospel with them. Like yeah. you are loving them. Special. And mm-hmm. that's like, yeah. that's huge. Oh. Yeah. So powerful. It is so, yeah. But I think. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a moment and ponder that. Let's just pause and think about that. <laughs> So you're you're pursuing nursing. Taylor's teaching. You both have serious relationships. Mm-hmm. You live with us. Mm-hmm. You're a part of our kids' mm-hmm. lives, mm-hmm. and we're all in relationships together. Yeah. And I think a lot of the times, like there's, I think maybe more than anything, bes- between besides like marriage troubles, I think there's family troubles mm-hmm. that come around. Yeah. You know, yeah, totally. in, in my conversations with people. Yeah. Sister did this, and dad did this, or like in other did families, this, other or families. Something? Yeah, yeah okay. not ours. Oh yeah, not ours. Um, and so I think for us, like we've been together so long now. Yeah. So yeah. long now, and we've been through like a lot of stuff together. Oh. You know, so like so a much, lot. and like we've all like we've experienced losses together. We have had to fight for mm. each other. Yeah. We have had to trust each other. We have had to let let each other go. All of it. So I want to hear from, and I'll start with you, Taylor. Like. Mm. When it comes to growing up, and you're the baby, and I think yeah. that's important to say. Yeah, big time. Yeah, yeah because the baby of the family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like a surprise baby. Like You're a surprise uh, baby. Yeah. yeah you're Last. our miracle. Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, you both are kind yeah. of miracles. Yeah, you both yeah. are. Wow. The babies. Oh, <laughs> look at us. <laughs> <laughs> but I want you to talk like really honestly to mm-hmm. the, and you've told, you shared this with me, so yeah. this isn't surprising, but like. How do you be the baby and forge your own path? Yeah. In the middle of having five strong, strong <laughs> siblings. Yeah. And then you add, you know, on in laws on top of those. Yeah. Who you love. You, are like you and my Dustin are family, family. Yeah. Family. Like yeah. you're, you might yeah. as well be blood, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. So, like, talk about that. Like, yeah. how do you, like, be a part of a strong family unit and yeah. still forge your own path, but also don't just discourage? Discredit, Discredit. Every, yeah, mm. every different opinion. And, <sighs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, I'm also an Enneagram nine. Yep. Same so thing. I think that on top of it, I'm a peacemaker. I'm a people pleaser. I want everyone to just be happy and for everything to be agreeable. And so I think when I was younger, like high school, especially, it was like really um, hard because even within my siblings, like I have five older siblings, and within them, they think differently. 
like one sister will think differently than my brother and my brother will think differently than my, you know? Mm -hmm. And I wanted to make sure that every single sibling knew that I agreed exactly with, with what them. they <laughs> thought. Yeah. Right. And just because I wanted everybody to be happy and be proud of me because yep. I'm such a people pleaser. Yep. And so I think that was like my main struggle because mm -hmm. I didn't want to disappoint them. So I kind of took on like all of these different personas, personalities, yeah. personas, yep. like beliefs. Yeah. And I think you've done an awesome job, honestly, of like helping me. And I know that's well, been very you, intentional. I don't feel like I have. No, Aww. you've done a very Aww. intentional job of it as being like, hey, like if you don't agree with me in this way, like that's mm -hmm. not bad. That's not like a negative thing. You always say you love when people think differently. Like yeah. it opens your mind. It makes you think, you know. Yeah. And so I think as I got older, I just realized that, first of all, it's the most exhausting thing in the entire oh. world. <laughs> so true. To have to try so to constantly… Be what everybody wants you to be. When in reality, nobody really even cares. Like, right. you know, nobody cares what you totally. think or what you do. I mean, they love you. But if they right. trust and support you, it doesn't really yep. necessarily matter. Um, so I think I just, I don't really know how I even got there. Probably just growth, time, growing up, um, being able to like have conversations with family members and be like, oh, I want to do this. When they were like, well, I thought you always wanted to do this. And being able mm -hmm. to actually like speak my truth. Oh, that verbiage. Um, <laughs> but not a fan of that line. But yeah, like yeah. speak my truth. And see the love and support. And give people the benefit of the doubt. Mm -hmm. And the crazy thing is every time like. And it's not like we have all these big differences. But yeah. Like by any means. But any time that I do come up and like speak what I believe or I tell someone something personal, I'm never met with anything negative ever. Right. It's all these like thoughts in my mind because I'm such a people pleaser. Yeah. Um, and then you do it a couple times and you get these amazing responses and so much love. And then that just continues to happen. And you kind of, I kind of like formed my own identity, say to, so to speak, mm -hmm. right. um, throughout that. I would say. It is yeah. crazy that we um, we do think people are going to have more of a problem than what yeah, they always. do yeah. in yeah. being ourselves it's or so in true. pursuing. Mm -hmm. We think about it more than other people think about oh, it. Oh, yes. So Literally. we obsess about it or feel yeah. bad or try to conform. Mm -hmm. But then like what you're saying, I think is powerful. Like then you just are who you yeah. are and every, yeah. like everyone's great with it. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's way more relaxing exactly. to be who you are and Seriously. what you're called to. Yeah. So good. And yeah. And my siblings something. are like the most chill people. Like the <laughs> clients, they're the most chill people in the <laughs> right. world. Like, <laughs> yeah, we're chill, but super intense at this. Or not intense. Yeah. What's the word? <laughs> Loyal, we're we're chill, but soup like we are very much chill our too. own opinion. People. Opinionated, we're opinionated. Yeah, opinion. we're opinionated yeah. people. But we like yeah. other people. But we opinions. love other people's opinions. Yeah, I would say we, that. I would yeah, say opinion, but yeah. not. We really do value other opinions. Oh yes, oh, yeah. all so of much us. so. And respect yeah, people us. having a different opinion. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Big time. Yeah. 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 yeah that's um, good. So yeah. with you, Taylor, and yeah. then I'm going to go into waiting because this is turning into like a family dynamics talk, oh, which I like it. it. Family this dynamics. Good. Like this is good. <laughs> I feel like in the last couple of years, you have really found yourself. Yeah, totally. I right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So what contributed to that? Yeah. Because it wasn't. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, I've got it. You know it. what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. it's so much more yep. practical than okay. emotional. Good. I grew up. Like mm -hmm. I got a job. Yeah. I okay. like… Honestly, finished college. I finished college. Like you, I think a lived big, in the world. I lived in the world. There mm -hmm. was such a big piece where all my siblings are like married. They all have great financial. They're mm -hmm. all financially stable. They all have kids. And then there's little me, like mm -hmm. working at a preschool, which is amazing. But I don't want to be there forever necessarily because mm -hmm. I have other aspirations. Who's yep. been in school for like. Like, I'm pretty sure seven years. <laughs> Shout out, Craig and Connie. Yeah, I'm the worst. You did um, the but I did it. Yes, the I did it. <laughs> and so I feel like when you're in the middle of a process, when you do that, even without all the amazing older siblings that I have on top of it, mm -hmm. it's hard enough. But mm -hmm. and then you're looking at like all these awesome people and I just want to be them. Mm -hmm. And so I felt like I couldn't really, I didn't really have my identity mm -hmm. um, necessarily. And then I graduated school mm -hmm. and I, um, it, I kind of graduated in the middle you of had COVID, wins. which was crazy. But you yeah, had I had so many wins. And then I got yep. a job and I'm I'm killer at my job. I'm good at you it. Are right. And I yes. love it. And like <laughs> I got a boyfriend that I like really care about mm -hmm. who's wonderful and it was like mine and mm -hmm. not that I ever had anybody else's but <laughs> good clarification <laughs> but, I, but I just all yeah. of these things kind of started coming together and I felt like it was kind of like I just grew up practically mm -hmm. and it's crazy what like those practical wins That's do really, for you really emotionally good. like 
it That's makes really such really a good. difference. Yeah. That's why we always tell our college students or like before you start, like get a job. Yeah. yeah seriously. Get it like yeah. work, get the, do the practicals. And I think yeah. that's such a good point. Like yeah. it, the practicals aren't even for the other person. They're for you. Yeah. yeah. Like you deserve to feel yeah. like you're yeah. contributing to the world. You deserve to feel like yeah. you're doing something that's, totally. you know. Yeah. Um, okay. So wit, family dynamics. Let's yeah. talk about it. Okay. Because <clears throat> you again, I'll, also are the baby. Another baby. <laughs> <laughs> and another miracle. And another, and miracle. another miracle. Surprise. <laughs> surprise. Taylor, Taylor, <laughs> was, Taylor was born as a surprise when <laughs> mom was 41 years old. And Whitney oh. was born as a… In miracle. Not, miracle. What's the word um, when you reverse? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Vasectomy? Very personal, but… Well, you know. share this… Oh, reverse yeah. res- her res- her parents share yes, this everywhere. Right? Yeah. Dad had a reversal. My reversal. Dad had a reversal, yeah, after his What's surgery, vasectomy. After his yep. vasectomy. A reversal yeah. vasectomy. Mm-hmm. And back yeah. then, it was, oh, I mean, now you can do rare. it a little bit. It's a little yeah, more easier. common, but it was mm-hmm. uh, It was a little bit bigger yeah. deal back yeah. then. Aww. And Thank they felt me. like they needed one more. <laughs> one more. Oh, wit. I still remember <laughs> wheeling Dad out Seriously? of the place. Yeah. I know. I didn't yeah, know yeah, that. After he had the reversal, yeah. Oh, that was going somewhere else. Yeah. So yeah, I, yeah. Mom was pushing him, oh. put him in the car, the big old van. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah. Out. So when you talk drugs. about talk about your journey, <laughs> this yeah. kind of the same vein mm-hmm. that Taylor did with. Yeah. You have all older siblings. Mm-hmm. Everybody's doing their own thing. Yeah. You have you were a part of a family mm-hmm. culture that's important. Yeah. And is to be honored. Mm-hmm. But you also you're in person. So yeah. talk about that. Yeah, I think it took me quite a while to Mm -hmm. figure it out, to be honest. And I think just following in the footsteps of my family was hard to get out of like, okay, I do have my own voice. I do have my, uh, like, I can make my own decisions Mm -hmm. and such. And um, I think a lot of it, you know, I looked up to my uh, sister Casey Mm -hmm. so much and just would follow her, have her friends and everything. I think, honestly, moving to Texas really, like, was like almost culture shock, yeah. like, whoa, I have to make my own friends. And like, yeah. I get to choose, you know, to do what I want to do mm-hmm. and all that. Because I went to college, I moved here to go yep. to college. And that was even stepping out of it mm-hmm. to like mm-hmm. moving out before getting married, you know, of mom and dad's mm-hmm. house and stuff. So I think that leap and the independence of it, like, whoa, <laughs> like I can, you know, make my own decisions. And that's when like my uh, relationship with the Lord grew because I was like, mm. I get to choose this for myself. I'm mm-hmm. not like forced to go That's to good. church every day. I get to choose it. And that makes mm-hmm. it more special, you know? So I think, and what Taylor was saying is like, people pleasing is huge yeah. when you're the baby of a family. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. you want everyone to be Shout proud of you. <laughs> We're here for you. Oh, this thank you. you. Be proud of us. Oh, yeah. Genesis, listen to this in 10 oh, years. Yeah, oh, seriously. Baby. Oh, oh, man. That's real, though. But yeah. yeah. So you learning. Saw all these people that are succeeding. Yes. And, you know, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was a journey for sure. Mm-hmm. So many hard times of like feeling like I'm letting people down, family members mm-hmm. down, of like, oh, and then when I don't go in the ministry, I'm like, oh, no. Like, like, I'm not mm-hmm. preaching. I'm not, you know, doing mm-hmm. this. Like, you feel like, oh, no. Like, am I do? Am I letting, even my parents, like, am I letting mm-hmm. them down? Like, they raised all of us and we're all, they love to say, you know, we're all in the ministry. And I'm like, wait, but yeah, I am wanna, in the ministry. You, wanna, you are in the ministry. Yeah. And that's what yeah. Dustin yeah. talked you know, about last, yeah. or kingdom culture, not yeah. two weeks ago, was mm-hmm. like, yeah, you. it's mm-hmm. kingdom culture. It's yeah. Not, but that, and you know, your mom, the minute she's hearing this, Shout out button. We love you. We love She's you, gonna button. Gonna like, baby. Your phone's yeah. probably buzzing baby. right now. Yeah. <laughs> are buzzing the minute this is released, baby. You know I'm so proud of you for going to nursing. Yeah. And I think that's the thing about families. Mm-hmm. Well, not unfortunately, not every yeah. family. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But our families, yeah. the base and the clients, like mm-hmm. you, we, I think we give a lot of um, support yeah. to what anyone chooses. Totally. You know? Yep. And your mom's going to be like, oh, I'm so proud of you yes, for being literally. in so like, <laughs> yeah. But it's, totally. it's strange how, and I'm sure I did this with people that were old, like Sean. Yeah, totally. Right? Yeah, or, Uncle or Sean like, for sure. Big time. Yeah. Or like people that were in my life yeah. as big brothers or big sisters where mm-hmm. I wanted to please them or I wanted to yeah. do what they wanted to do. We love you, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much, Sean. See, see you in a couple weeks. Yeah. <laughs> but I think like that's so powerful is like, and and it, I I think sometimes it can be like, I'm going to go off the rails and prove everybody this and mm-hmm. our, or I'm going to conform and just be a robot. And neither one of you have done that. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah which, which is, is pretty, pretty which amazing. Is pretty <laughs> Pretty admirable. To hon- Aww, honestly. Mm-hmm. I mean, besides when you had like a little wild string with the, <laughs> you know, she hey. got the first tattoo in a family. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 
Oh, is the only tattooed bait. <laughs> Rebel. No, consider it joy. No. Oh, Your no. husband. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. Wow. No, Whitney was the first. No, I was right? the first. No, no, no it's not. I was the first. No, Dustin was the No, you were the first, right? Oh, jeez. Mm-hmm. My yes. name. <laughs> Taylor I thought I just pan- gave away the secret. Taylor <laughs> thought she just oh, told oh, on that Dustin no. has a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin, Ryan, and Kim. Oh, she doesn't know about my lower back. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the trips. Yo, yo. Wait, wait. But I think but that's yes. like so important when talking about like families is like how do we like pave our own path, yeah, and not go off the rails either way, yeah. Well, and I think tr- like finding your yeah. finding Talk your own identity, it. yeah. What does that look like without kicking against, yeah, where your you tradition. come from or your mm-hmm. family? Mm-hmm. That's so and funny. I think both of you guys yeah. did that. It wasn't yeah. like, man, screw everybody, screw right. we're yeah. gonna yeah. do our own thing. It was mm-hmm. like. It was kind of a, a, a long process of yeah. discovery, which totally. I think was a healthy way to it's do really it. Good. Mm-hmm. That you're growing and you're learning and you're developing versus like, I can do what I want. Right. I don't have to conform to anything. I'm just going to mm-hmm. just whatever, rebel yeah, yeah, or totally. whatever, yeah. whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I think it was you guys in a healthy way. And sometimes probably it was hard yeah. to yeah. just find It's easier your voice to just screw it all. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, totally. 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 Yeah, it's yeah. an easy way out. Yeah. And, and it's a... It, it's not really how you develop. That's, a, that's no. how a kid responds. Yeah. A mature yeah. <laughs> reaction is just like, I'm just going to, I'm going to find mm-hmm. it. Totally. I'm going to yeah. grow but and learn. you let your tradition and the family God put you in and form yeah. it all. That's a good way to say it. Yeah. yeah. Inform, yeah. educate, yeah. Yeah. And, and then strengthen yeah. the steps that you're taking yeah. now yeah. versus totally. I'm going to abandon this to right. be this. Totally. That totally informs good. it. I think informs yeah. a good word. Mm-hmm. But then I do find my path yeah yeah mm-hmm. which i think both of you guys to, yeah. Totally, yeah. Done exactly. that. and i think too with like respect for our parents has helped so much yeah. of like yeah. we don't want to well speaking for myself yeah, yeah. like i don't want to like <laughs> rebel against them like we may have different beliefs in some areas or like some things that i'm okay with mm-hmm. that they wouldn't and i know it would hurt them mm-hmm. that i don't want to choose that path because out of respect for them mm-hmm. you know so like even with the tattoos that was a battle but <laughs> i would not get my tattoo and i tell i heard the words <laughs> out of dad's mouth is do what you want. <laughs> I ran right to the tattoo Boppy, parlor. Boppy, <laughs> Boppy, we but love for years and years and years, he said no, 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 and I would not do it because I'm like, I know this would hurt wow. him. And mm-hmm. until those words came out of his mouth, I was like, I won't do it. Like I thought wow. I would never get one. Thank you, Boppy. <laughs> <laughs> then you paved the way for everybody. Yeah, let's, exactly. Oh, let's Look at try you. and get Boppy to tattoo himself this Christmas. Oh, <gasps> oh my goodness. I'm trying to get Button to get a matching one. Let's with get me. Kiana. Shout out Kiana tattoo. Kiana. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that's, funny. that's so good wit it's it, it doesn't have to be this like oh they're all so this yeah i'm gonna be this it can be like a super like congruent th- or not yeah. even congruent like it can be a super like put together like you can it's take- supposed to be connected yeah yes. like our upbringing yes. is supposed to inform i think what you said yes. your right. word is really important because we don't want to throw away the foundation that God's put, and that's how exactly. God works. It's yeah. generation on generation. Yeah. And so we good. build on each other's shoulders and all of, that, we were born yeah. in the families for a reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's a blessing. Yeah. Right. And I think some people kick against it and finding their own path, but it really should, it should help mm-hmm. us. Yeah. It should give yeah. us a boost mm-hmm. in what we're doing. Mm-hmm. 100%. And I think the aunties have both done that in their own way. 100%. Like really yeah. beautifully. Oh, thanks oh. y'all. Man, wow. Podcast for you all about us. <laughs> oh, love tanks oh. full. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's not over yet. <laughs> oh, just don't have any fights with the boyfriends on the ring. <laughs> okay, I actually. Outside the ring camera. I went. do remember. Okay, okay Christian and I got into a fight. And I, di- I wasn't thinking about the Christian ring Taylor's camera. Boyfriend, yes, everyone. Christian's boyfriend, Shout out. Hi, <laughs> Christian. Christian, we love you. Um, and we were in front of the camera, and we were bickering and fighting and whatever. And I wasn't even thinking about the camera. And in the middle of the conversation, I was like, <laughs> the camera. The camera. And I remember just being you like, know. let's just go. Let's <laughs> let's just go talk over here, babe. Let's just go. I feel like going on a drive. At that point, yeah, you just got to ride And I like waved <laughs> goodbye to Dee in the camera. I do. I did think oh, that yeah. And then Jamie, two weeks later, was like, Dustin caught you on the camera fighting. The other day. <laughs> I was like, I knew it. I think uh, that's like what makes our like roomy situation so yeah. healthy is that like, <laughs> 
none of us claim perfection. Yeah. Oh, geez, no. Yeah, for Oh, real. my yeah. gosh. Like, I was yeah. talking to you, Taylor, the <laughs> yeah. other day, and I was like, oh, I bet you've heard so many of De- Dustin and I's, like, squabbles. Yes. She's like, yes. no, I, I really, because she's, I know oh. she's so curious. <laughs> yeah. And I know she's nosy, just like you are, Dee. <laughs> yeah, 100%. I go, oh, I can imagine the squabbles you've heard. She's like, actually, I don't really want to hear yours. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I did say that. I was like, some are fun. I don't like the people close to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I don't think yeah, any exactly. of us claim, yeah. like, perfection. And I think yeah. after however many years that we've all been together, Whitney with us now like mm-hmm. 12, yeah. Taylor so with us wild. seven, six. Six, or maybe honestly, seven, it might have been seven, seven, six or seven. Oh, she's that's crazy. There's no, so there's long. no perfection left, <laughs> yeah. you know? And yeah, I no. think that's what like builds really happy, healthy, like mm-hmm. trustworthy relationships, yeah. you know, is like so you true. see each other and all like, We've seen I, we've seen y'all through breakups. Yeah, we've seen yeah. y'all through job stuff. We've seen y'all through yeah. Taylor when you were trying to pass your test. Oh, and Taylor when, or Aww. Whitney when you were trying to pass your. Yep. Actually, both of you have a lot of a lot tests. of tests. <laughs> I feel like so Whitney's got a big test a every of, weekend. A lot of tests. A lot of for tests the past seven every, years. <laughs> Studying again. Hey, I got. I got to step out. I got to study for a, a big test. How many big tests in a row can you have? But at the end of the day, I maybe think there's like, more to the story. We need to hear. That's a great excuse, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But I do think, sadly, we're ra- we're a bit rare. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. Yeah. like I don't know sure. that people mm-hmm. could have done what we've done with the, all of our super strong personalities. Yeah. And two, you're firstborn male. I'm firstborn. Taylor's my baby. Whitney's your. And it's mm-hmm. just. And I feel like we've hit a really good stride. Yeah. And so, okay, let's talk about this before yeah. we end. Okay. What do you feel like we have done? And I want you to be super honest. Oh, oh no. Whoa. I'm scared. Oh, my gosh. We can call Randy if we need. We can call Randy if we need. <laughs> we can, we can if we need. <laughs> what do Mediator. you feel like was the hardest times with living with us because we're mm-hmm. so much older. We're so, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. completely different phases, super opinion, all the things. What do you feel like was the thing that was the hardest or like mm-hmm. hindered your growth the most? And what do you think helped your growth the most? Wow. Okay. Going first. I got the hindrance Taylor's got one. it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, got, she's got the hindrance part. <laughs> no, not let me guess. No, it's me. I can't think of the positive, no, but- uh, yes. No, I'm it. the hindrance. You mentioned <laughs> hindrance first. Yeah, and right. it's got a positive twist on it. Okay. Um, <laughs> by far, the hardest part is watching y'all go through things. Yeah. Mm. Like with other people. Yeah. 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 As up, far as- Up ministry. close and yeah. personal. Up close yeah. and yeah. personal. Like, y'all don't even know. Like, not you You guys do, but the listeners. Like, the stuff that they go through- and the heat that they get. And they're like the best people. And like being that close and personal and like mm. watching y'all go through stuff. It's like, it's so hard. Yeah. In these last two years, it's been yeah. so crazy. Yeah. That. Mm. Yeah. Definitely, I would say that's the hardest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, and I think to go along with that is like, I don't want to say the same thing, but see, knowing what y'all are going through and like trying to draw the boundaries, like, okay. I want to hang out, but do I want, I like, you know, you have to draw the balance between like intrusion and like giving space, you know, like, Mm -hmm. so sometimes like it's hard, like not knowing like, oh, they have had a crazy day or a crazy week, month, year. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to be the one that intrudes if they're like needing space, you know? Mm -hmm. So like, I think that's probably the hardest for me is like knowing when, you know, Mm -hmm. is a good time to talk or something, you know, and drawing those boundaries there. That's I think you guys me. do a really good job. Like, you're almost overly respectful. Mm-hmm. You know totally. what I mean? Like, yeah. right? Totally, yeah. Like, somebody was asking me the, the other day about you guys living with us, and I was like, oh, no, there's no trouble. Aww. Like, we, we all have such good so boundaries. Sweet. And yeah. with each yeah. other. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was, I was talking to somebody the other yeah. day, and they were like, how long have they lived? I'm like, <laughs> why well, it's been a, And then I st- we were starting to talk about yeah. it. And they were like, man, that must be, like, you know, kind of hard sometimes. Yeah. And then I was like, well, actually. Not. It's yeah. It's not really, oh, yeah. but I think that's like tribute to you guys mm-hmm. and They're probably so above and beyond above to one hundred percent like make space for us and mm-hmm. yeah. our lives or whatever things we're going through and mm-hmm. yeah. and I was thinking what you said, Jame, about like if it being rare, and I was trying to think of like what what make what makes it work. Yeah, yeah. and I think vulnerability. I think mm-hmm. just like that we understand that we we all have weaknesses we all yeah. are gonna fight sometimes mm-hmm. we all are gonna go through mm-hmm. stuff that we're gonna need space um and then i think a lot of grace yeah. yeah just like grace that 
man, we're all we're, we're we've seen each other in the worst yeah. oh times yeah. in the worst I mean, places. Yeah. I think I mean, <laughs> there's yeah, no really. I mean there's no about secrets. the worst. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, exactly. about the worst. The four of us. Have yeah, yeah, been through together. and to yeah. still love each other yeah. when someone sees you in the most um, just down moments or parts we. Well, you don't want anyone to see you when right, you're discouraged yeah, or when you're angry or, you know, whatever. So I think vulnerability, but I think just a mass amount of grace yeah, yeah. that just understanding each other's yeah. rhythms and seasons. Mm -hmm. um, and and then I think, um, uh, what was the other one I was going to say? Oh, just like, the, I think this is what you guys have done, just like such courtesy to not – you guys are going through your own stuff. Yeah. Right. So it's not like we are the only ones that have problems. Right, they yeah. come in with all their yeah. stuff yeah. too, and ours is always the most. Right? Yeah. yeah. So I think just that courtesy, yeah. and it might be for people listening, it just might be so good, good to just consider is yeah. that courtesy to just like, hey, like we're gonna we're gonna have. I guess it goes along with grace too, but just we understand other people are going through some, so we're not trying to like say our thing is the most important thing, but yeah. we're really having grace for one another. Yeah. So I think so, because I, you guys have operated in those ways, they really have. Yeah. It's really helped this thing work. Yeah. So yeah. for us, it's never. It has not been a. Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we have people living with us. Oh, it's, never. I think it's never. more of like a reminder sometimes when people say, like, you have people living with you. It's like, <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we I mean, we did. Yeah. When Aww. you see me naked more maybe oh, than you have. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> wow. When She's you, not lying. When, <laughs> and I have not been naked in 12 years. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> you've been out in your undies a couple times <laughs> and you've been caught. <laughs> oh, man. That Literally, no, I was telling somebody there today, when I was like, honestly, oh. Whitney, there's nothing left to hide from her. Like, she saw me wow. postpartum oh. twice. <laughs> And then now, mm -hmm. like I, there's just no, there's <laughs> no, nope. there's nothing left. To <laughs> That's too good. <laughs> I'll walk in the That's kitchen. So I'll walk in the kitchen to get a Topo Chico at six a.m. when he's leaving. I'm like oh, bye. bye. Don't even think about it. Wow. Nope. <laughs> oh goodness. Anyways, I interrupted your oh. what, your question to them about. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. That's so good. So. <clears throat> Like the the hardest parts of it, yeah. And yeah. I I didn't really think about that coming into this, but that is a really good point that you made, Taylor. Is like you guys came into a pretty <clears throat> intense life, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. living with us. And I think like there's a reason Whitney quit ministry. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Aww. 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 Don't. <laughs> 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 no, I think though that you guys have like. I think it's even more of a testament to them that they have seen about as tough as it can get. As up close and personal. As up close and personal and as you can get. Barring one of us having like a huge moral failure. Please don't. <laughs> Same. Hashtag. <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> moral failures, please. <laughs> but, but they're still, they still love God. Mm. They're still committed to the church. Mm -hmm. They still show up. They still, you know, like they're dating men who love God like mm -hmm. they have and I don't know that at their age seeing what I've seen mm -hmm. and seeing what they've seen what we've been through yeah that it would be easy to just tap out you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. so um kudos yeah. to you guys you. why do you what do you think makes it real to you let's take D and I out of it yeah D and I completely out of it mm. what makes what makes your faith real oh you. it's good because I think, honestly, you both have very genuine yeah. faith. Yeah. Has totally. nothing to do with us. Yeah. What makes our faith real? Well, you I can pause and think if you want. Yeah, we yeah, edit, yeah. That's a good question. We can edit yeah. any yeah. causes. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, I think, obviously, like, the foundation that we grew up in, mm -hmm. like, my faith would not be the faith that it was, is if I didn't have that. Mm -hmm. um, like, which, it's in family. Yeah, in our family. Yeah, sure, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. and mom and dad were just always never pushy with our faith. Like, like I, I know I also grew up with, like, kind of a mom and dad that were different than y'all mm -hmm. grew up with because I was so late. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, um, I think just being raised to like have my own faith. Yeah. They were always so big on that. They were never like. How did they do that? Do you we, think? Yeah. we don't, How? we don't like my, okay. So my mom is way more charismatic. So mm -hmm. she's going to go and lift her hands and raise and praise and do all that. And my dad is going to probably be a little bit more still singing the songs and he's never going to miss a quiet time. And my mom's never going to miss a quiet time. But the way that I was like, I saw them both have the most honest, real, 
loving relationships with the Lord and they looked so differently. That's, that's mm. awesome. I think it wow. made me really see that like, if I don't want to raise my hands one day, you know, like I don't have to do it for force. I don't have to do it like mm. for show. It can be real authentic. It can be you. real yeah. authentic. Cause my dad, oh my gosh, like yeah, my dad's the, the most faithful man ever. And I mean, he raises his hands sometimes like, you know, yeah. but like, yeah. you know, so yeah. I think seeing the way Craig, let's get those hands up. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, classic. word expression. <laughs> seeing the way that that like yeah. they showed their faith to me just by like example mm -hmm. was like so huge. Mm -hmm. And then growing up, like I think even just obviously my mom and dad got into YWAM when I was six. So I started doing YWAM, moved to six, Hawaii when yeah. I was six. <laughs> yeah. And I went on all these trips. I went to Africa, Europe, Asia, at like wow. super young ages, mm -hmm. traveled all over the place. Got dengue and fever. Got dengue got, fever once, malaria twice. I have twice. a picture of wow. Taylor crossing the border at Poi Pei yeah. in Cambodia with an IV. With an oh, Archie comic holding that? up my yep, arm. An Archie comic. And my dad oh. had to like hold it in the port of Hold the as just I'm to like, get her back yeah. to Thailand. Wow. Yeah, but I, so I had like such yeah. a crazy upbringing, yeah. but I just <laughs> saw so many faithful moments and I saw mm -hmm. just so many lives affected. So I think the way that I was raised obviously had a massive contribution. Um, but it's nothing they ever said. No, it's nothing yeah, they what, said. No, it's nothing it's they did. Saw. It's nothing they ever told and, me and to do. And their differences? Yeah, their differences Spoke were like what yeah. made Spoke it cool, it. what made it special for me mm -hmm. because you can, the way that you show love toward God or to humans, to anyone is going to be probably different than the person yeah. next to you. So and being good. able to like realize that and see that and I think, like, I, when I was younger in high school, like, oh, uh, yeah. But um, oh, anyways. Yeah, go ahead. This um, is over there, well, I, was, I was in YWAM <laughs> yeah. when I was in high school. <laughs> and I remember I was, like, in YWAM, super charismatic. And I was really sick for, like, two years. I was yeah. um, in and out of the hospitals every month because I had a parasite in my body. And went to, ended up moving to Hawaii. And I got prayed over one night, radically healed. It was, like, wow. so incredible, wow. so powerful. Um, but from there, I started, like, the most charismatic life. Like, all I wanted to do, of course, like, mm -hmm. I wanted to learn all about the Holy Spirit and what He can do and the giftings. Mm -hmm. And I, like, went through such an awesome journey of, like, just falling in love with the Holy Spirit aspect of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I felt like I really negate, um, what's that fancy word? Jamie, help me out. Neglated? Neglated? Ne neglected? neglected? Negle yes, I neglected, yeah. like, the other parts of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So I got so into, like, the yeah. char charisma of it all, which was <laughs> such a beautiful part. But I missed out on like so many others. And um, I moved to Texas. And I remember I was praying. Jamie's obviously obsessed with like the word itself and reading their Bible. Dustin, you too. <laughs> um, <laughs> I like it. She she like, she's, she's always in it. And I felt like really convicted because I didn't really know like a lot about like God. I knew like all the Bible stories, but mm. I didn't really like know a lot. And she really encouraged me just by again, watching and observing, never telling me, never asking me to do anything by like diving into the word. And I would say that is when like, I just completely fell in love wow. with like That's God. Amazing. And it became so real to me. And um, yeah, just holding on to holding on to all the words, all the truths, like digging the, in. The and two parts. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. Are both so, needed. Yeah. So I think as I've gotten older, just kind of like seeing like, maybe I'm not jumping, running around with cloths on Sunday morning anymore, <laughs> you know, waving them. Mm -hmm. But like, um, yeah, just seeing every aspect of God. And I think that's powerful though, yeah. that everything that you feel like you've caught you you saw modeled in some way. 100%. Yeah. So not, yeah, it's yeah, probably told. good for people listening, yep. just, especially parents. Yeah, one, or what, I was, what, what, was going to say that. Yeah, parents. Just, like, uh, just their authentic yeah. faith yeah. charged something in you. Yeah. So like that's that's yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. that's and so it didn't good. matter how it looked, different styles, mm -hmm. but there was there was a core there's a core belief in love that yeah. like grew in you as a yeah. young person. Yeah. yeah. That's so good. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Okay. good. Yeah. Yes. And for me, um, <laughs> obviously, I have had amazing parents who yeah. have modeled that yeah, as course. well, which I'm so grateful for. And the foundation is just like everything, you know. But I think when mm -hmm. um, just my relationship with the Lord became real to me was when I moved here to Texas, obviously, because mm -hmm. I was— I, it was a hard season of like uprooting mm. from everything I had known, coming to a whole new state, yeah, meeting yeah. everyone different, nobody knowing me yeah. like, you know, they did back home. <laughs> and I think that like the seasons I went through developed such a relationship and being raised in the church, you go to yeah. church, you have no choice. So like 
having like being empowered to choose, like like I was saying before, mm-hmm. is like, oh wow, I get to go to church because I want to, and then I get to encounter God in a real way. He can be my friend. I can have a relationship with Him. And so, in those dark seasons that I walked through when I uh, moved here, was like, wow, I have a companion like with me, and like mm. He became so real in those dark mm. times of like just feeling lonely. I'm like, I've got God. I remember one day I was so lonely and I was literally skipping by myself. And I was like, well, it's you and me, God. I literally Aww. was like, we're in, in this. this. We're in this. And in I there. will never yes. forget that <laughs> moment. So and I'm amazing. like, God is just my best friend. Mm-hmm. And it's just so special to have that. Like, mm-hmm. I just feel like I can do anything, you know, like yeah. with mm-hmm. him right there. Like I have it, yeah. you know, like that's all you need. That's where I've found my confidence, all my joy that people, you know, sometimes don't love about me. <laughs> it's just like, I, I just had, I know it's a much sometimes, but like, like genuinely, like I just, I love life. And yeah. that's because yeah. I have God right there with me. And yeah. I know yeah. I can get through anything with him. I really so. believe that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's good. From yeah. what you guys have walked through that journey, like mm-hmm. what would you tell somebody? Yeah. As far as purpose, fulfillment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would say, I feel like I really enjoy my family. Like my life would not be the same without my family. Mm -hmm. So I kind of get both sides of like, a lot of people will tell you like, go away from your family, like do it on your own, figure it out. And I'm not like vetoing that necessarily. But I think that like having family near me was always very, very important in my life. Um, So I would definitely like encourage, don't just like, graduate high school and just be like, let's go. Mm. I get out. You know, I don't Mm -hmm. think it's bad if you do that by any means. Mm -hmm. But I think like if you do that, like keep your family close, call, connect with them. Mm -hmm. Like those are your people that will be with you forever. And I think like I I did that. Like if I was here, I talked to all my family in Washington often. You know, Mm -hmm. I um, and I think that's been really important for my upbringing. Like when I get discouraged, a friend might have like some advice, but your family, they know you. They know what yeah. to say. They know how to take care of you. They know how to pick you up. That's so good. And so I think like if you are, if you have a family that you're close to, like keep them close. Don't let them go, you know. So good. Um, I think consistency with the Lord, like any direction I have, I cannot make a decision for the life of me. I'm like the worst <laughs> at it. It's <laughs> so bad. But like keep praying, keep being consistent. Like God really always, you will always get your answer. And if you don't, like if, you, if you're if you praying that hard to mm-hmm. get an answer, what you do is going to be mm-hmm. God's peace. Like he's going to mm-hmm. take yeah, you there. And I remember I had that conversation with Dee about something. I think I was deciding between like nursing or teaching or something. And he just told me, I was like, I just don't want to make the wrong choice. I just don't want to make the wrong choice. Mm-hmm. And he was like, Tay, hey, you are praying every day. Yeah. You are, mm-hmm. your you're life, gonna, you're living a yeah. moral, good life. Like you yeah. seek God, you love God. Yeah. Like you might just have to do it mm-hmm. and like know that like God's going to get you. Like trust God in those yeah. moments. Like if you're consistently with him, if you're praying to him, if you're, um, and if he's in your life, like mm-hmm. um, just kind of making those moves and trusting him, trying to get peace. Um, okay, that's a big one. Uh, good. Yeah, that's really good because I think people think the will of God's like elusive. Oh, like yeah. yeah, I think it's like the it's number like one thing we talk about. Yeah. What, that's like why young I'm people, it. right? Is exactly. I'm, gonna miss, I gonna, I'm yeah. gonna miss. I'm gonna miss his yeah. plan. Or I'm gonna miss. I'm uh, gonna mess it up. <laughs> yeah. And I always say like, it, God found yeah. you when you weren't looking for him. Yeah. yeah. You're yeah, definitely not gonna yeah, miss so his will when you are. You want to please him. Uh, you're consistent, like you're saying, yeah. like you're consistently asking. God's not hiding his will. Yeah. He's yeah. not trying to trick us. Yeah. And mm-hmm. There's a chance that we're going to miss it. If we want to please God, we're surrendering our future to him. Seriously. We're going to find it. I think, and you guys both have a testimony of that, is mm-hmm. that every season you've been surrendered yeah. to him. And now you're, now you're thriving in yes. careers and in places where God led you yeah. and prepared you for. But it took, it took a process, yeah. but- you 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 got there and you're in the perfect his yeah perfect so good will. yeah that's so yeah, good peace yeah yeah and what I would want to say yeah. is like we were raised in great families but there's a lot of people yeah. who yeah. aren't so yeah, for totally. the people who don't have a good solid family or siblings. Mm-hmm. It's finding that community, you know. Yeah. Like I remember when I did move here. I know I've said that a lot, but I had nobody yeah. like as far yeah. as friends outside of family, mm-hmm. and I was insecure. I literally was not confident in who I was at all, and I had to find that and go through a discovery of like, who am I? Like, mm-hmm. how do I make a friend? You know. And I feel like yeah. when you make those friends, it's like 
if you gain your confidence in the Lord, friends will come to you. Yeah. And if you have that security, it's like they flock to you because mm-hmm. you're securing who yourself, who you are. And people mm-hmm. crave that. Everybody's wanting to be secure in themselves, you know, yeah. but um, it's a challenge to get to that point. So um, I think with community, that yeah, helps so you, especially at an eight, age of 18. Yeah. It's like you're trying to yep. figure out who you yeah. are, but like gain your confidence you in the Lord and people will flock to you. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can mm-hmm. move on. And then even with careers, like don't be hard on yourself if yeah. you uh, want to change Switch. your path you or yeah. like you're not a failure if you, mm-hmm. you know, choose one thing and then you go a different route. I mean, yeah. honestly, like with nursing, I was scared like, oh, what if it doesn't work out? Mm-hmm. Or what if I don't do it? Like, what if I don't follow through again, the people pleasing? What are people mm-hmm. going to think? I've started this and what if it doesn't work, you know? Mm-hmm. So like, don't be hard on yourself because it's all for a reason, you know? Yeah. And that's what I, I think that's say. good. I was talking with a guy today and uh, he's 25 and he's just like, feels like he's so behind. Mm-hmm. I'm so behind. Everyone yeah. else is so mm-hmm. far. And I think that people can be too hard on themselves. Yeah. If you're a hard worker yeah. and you're committed and surrendered to the Lord, your journey might look different than somebody else's. And it doesn't put you behind. God can do so much yeah. in a year or mm-hmm. a month. Um, and and God might be building infrastructure yeah. For you 100. to do yeah. something really big and really great. Mm-hmm. And you're going to need what you went through and the yeah, character and the development oh, and all that. Yeah. Yeah. And some people are just, they they spring up fast, but they don't last long. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think there's this uh, quote that says, we, we overestimate what we can do in a year <laughs> and we underestimate <laughs> yeah. what we can do in a decade. Yeah. And I think just like for anybody that's young out there, like just give it time, give it yeah, time yeah. and give yourself some grace to yeah. really discover mm-hmm. and don't measure yourself against other people's yeah. pace or journey. <laughs> yeah. You got your own journey and yep. your own thing. Yep. I'm 32 y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not married. <laughs> I am just starting nursing school. It's okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's oh. another topic. <laughs> but I remember like failing like yeah. quizzes or tests mm-hmm. and thinking I was a failure. Mm-hmm. I come out of that class with an A and I'm like, okay, but mm-hmm. like the test yeah. that the enemy can bring at you and mm-hmm. even God, like it's just crazy as you just like, you know, put your mm-hmm. trust in him. He brings it out. Like don't be discouraged mm-hmm. by one failure because yeah. it will not be the end result for you. you yeah. Know? I feel like the overarching theme here is like we're all very different. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. There's two right. baits. There's two clients in this room, but yeah. we are all, we might as well be A, B, and X, and Y. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And I think like the common denon- denominator is we have trusted our lives to God. Right. Yeah. 100%. That's, o- that's yeah. the only thing. Yeah. Yep. Like there's, you can take a thousand families and a thousand kids and do like what, and you said it, Taylor, like consistency, like mm, I am yeah. God's kid. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm 41 years old and maybe on the verge of a breakdown. I'm not everyone, but I'm just <laughs> saying like, and, but I'm God, I'm yeah. God, like, yeah. I will never come hell or high water, you know? That's and so I good. think like that's what's made us and our relationship so strong is yeah. like everybody do- does their own. We yeah. kind of, yeah, we kind yeah. of have been able to like really love, honor, respect each other as we go through life on our own. Mm-hmm. Right. But there is one thing that we all center on, and that is that we are gods. Yeah. And I think that's like so powerful for families who are, and, and especially kids and families who are trying to like figure out, oh, who am I? What do I think? What yeah. am I? There's so much room. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's yes. so much <laughs> Yeah. In God's family. Okay, so let's close with this. What is the most the what annoying <laughs> thing? Oh no. Ooh. You all are going to have about one for Dustin. Me. Oh, like, about Dustin. Oh, Dustin. Oh, yeah, no, we're totally going to come for you guys. Oh. <laughs> okay, no, good. about living with I'm us. Like, but what is the most annoying thing about living with us? Mm. I think I know. Oh, I, I know. Know, the camera, I I know. I know the current one. Okay. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. The door. <laughs> Oh, don't give any door. security information. Okay, away. okay. actually, okay. I did. Um, this is <laughs> what I did see on the ring. Oh no, oh. us mad. Huh? I get, I get us mad when it's. Oh yeah, get mad. Oh. I'll go. I'll Ethan. literally go. <sighs> yeah, Huff I think you like swore at <laughs> me. No, I I'm not. I'm not. I have contacts. Our door is broken. The lock is always locked, and we can't get in. Our, so our yes. real though, that's <sighs> cute. It's cute okay. that the doorbell doesn't work. But I want to really know. I want honestly. The, I want the people know about D and I. I want the people uh, uh, to I hear the doorbell. From two, the two people who live with us. Yeah. 
What mm. is, because the doorbell is hysterical. Love it. It doesn't work. They they can't get into the house at night, y'all. Like, I've heard all of them. Wait, you, it's you horrible. Go <laughs> it's horrible. But I want, I want to open up our oh, relationship yeah. in our house, what is the most oh, frustrating no. thing about living with <laughs> wow. us? And then we're going to bring it back. Oh, don't worry. We'll bring it oh, back. Oh, oh yeah. Always. We I, re- I already it. have it. years deep. It's already in. It's already in. <laughs> <laughs> what? I can't um, wow. I'm like genuinely is- <laughs> trying to. I cannot think of one. This is backstage. This is the whole point of this podcast is for people to but, really oh, see I us got one. backstage. It's not a it's not a serious one, but Jamie. Okay, so Jamie is okay. convinced <laughs> that she is right in this. She is oh, convinced no. that I do that as well. Okay. That oh. I do not eat my leftovers. Oh oh oh! oh Are yeah. we going? Yeah here? yeah. You Go went ahead. so light on this. I know, but yeah. I genuinely. But I do but eat my leftovers. Though. I eat no, certain left. I eat my torches. I eat my pizza. <laughs> <laughs> No, you don't. I've thrown out so I many so things in the fridge right now. Okay, Jamie throws away <laughs> my leftovers. Yes, oh, I do. Wow. Okay. People who live with us 24-7. We've got one. She's smiling. I know. <laughs> <she's>, <laughs> has How are one. we annoying to She's you? got a list. <laughs> it's <laughs> actually a list on her phone. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> That's how she processes through it. <laughs> okay, well, I keep okay. my groceries in the bottom <laughs> drawer of the fridge. This okay. is not a, Okay. And Do I take your eggs? No. Okay. Nope. You're very good about asking. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> not, not taking them, but I've never shared this. Okay. Oh, well, wow. I there. I <gasps> open I every morning. I, I make. Yep. I'm very predictable. Yep. I have a quite a routine, and yeah, I'm making sure my do. breakfast right. Mm-hmm. And I open the bottom drawer to pull out my eggs in the kitchen fridge, our yes. main kitchen fridge. Okay. Yes. And I leave the bottom drawer open, and the door won't close. But it's just for a second while okay. I pull my eggs oh, out yeah. and put them back. And I come and Jamie through, comes yeah. in and, and slams closes. the door. Every time, but yeah. it hits the bottom and it, oh, and it cracks it. And that yes. has been a thing for a while because you yes. told me that like three years ago. Yes, <laughs> it is. You told yes. me that forever ago. But you I don't like, think I've ever communicated that, Jamie. So wow. here you go. Wow. That's kind of that like a, that's kind of like her thing. She's kind of like a finisher like that because <laughs> I'll be does. getting ready in the bathroom. <laughs> the worst Literally, thing you have to say I'll be about getting me. ready, and she just turns the lights out and walks out. <laughs> 100 you're done. One hundred. Well, I guess. I guess yeah, I'm you're done. You're done. Oh. It's all done. Uh, yeah. Eggs are done. <laughs> the closet's done. <laughs> just close the door because I say it's finished. Oh man, that okay, is a Winnie, strength in a way, Jamie. Wow, that's good. That, that was good. Like, that was good. That, yeah, that tells how good of a relationship so we have. If it's cracked, if the that's, bottom drawer is cracked, it's, your, it's Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> Jamie. It's not wit. Okay. Sometimes, <laughs> don't be oh, easy. No. Okay. okay. Sometimes. Not when, when, I'm like, coming for both of you. So, so you yeah, go for it. Winnie. Bring Winnie it. needs a She's been waiting for this opportunity to, to actually tell you good. guys. <laughs> okay. Um, sometimes, like, when I get home, I can't tell if you, like, want to chat or if you don't want to chat. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, oh. like, me or D? Dustin just me. said, oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. To yeah. you. Okay. Sometimes, to me. like, yeah. She said me. Y'all. Sometimes. <laughs> okay. This is a Sometimes, G. like, I, it's not, but it's not bad. It's more yeah, like. But you don't know. It's easy to tell when I don't want to. I'm not yeah, there. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't find sometimes, me. <laughs> sometimes, like, I'll, I'll be like, I don't know. Like, I'll say something. And I think, like, you do want to talk about mm-hmm. it. But okay. you're also like a little like I'm, I'm loving the rawness right now. Yeah, oh, keep going. Day, ask you, thank me for it. Okay. Yeah, like mm-hmm. so I'm like, okay, do we want to chat right mm-hmm. now? Do we Getting not? Good. And so sometimes I I can't tell. Not that if I'm doing anything to wrong to talk or not. Yeah, because my initial would be like, okay, you always leave her defer alone. To us. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Le- you know, she's home, she's cooking, she's whatever. Mm-hmm. But I know sometimes you're like, oh my gosh, how was your day? Mm-hmm. How was your day? But and then I'm like, does she really want to know how my day is? Mm. Or does she? So sometimes okay. it's hard to tell if you want to chat okay. or if you don't want to chat. You guys went mm. really light on these. <laughs> that would be the deepest one I could like legit think. Yeah. That we yeah. don't have qualms in our house. Yeah, yeah. We, we don't. Yeah, Honestly, we don't. Really. we don't. Like genuinely, yeah, we don't. I cannot yeah, we don't think of many. a time yeah. that we've ever had. I mean, like we've had disagreements. Not a disagreements. We've had no, like, but like, hey guys, like you need to tr- turn your track on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> which oh, I call Jamie. Are we going to go here, Jamie? Really? Yeah. yeah. This is real. Yes. No. Oh, oh, no. Oh, here they go. No okay. Okay. It. okay, here yes. we go. This, this one is a real this issue. This is what I'm looking for. Yes. I'm looking for the this real stuff. This is a real issue yep. when you start following my boyfriend and I don't even follow him, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, weird. <laughs> yeah, you did oh, think that was weird. Was Let like, me really? follow them. So well, that I, was only because you refused to have your tracker uh, on. Yeah, because I don't refuse. Like it's just not walk. on. Oh, you are, you're really on now. Thank you. This is but, our qualm. Look, 
This so the real. whole tracker. Oh, wow. we, are we fighting I, right honestly, now? Right. Okay, I, I think we. I, I think we boiled this down you, to though. the tracker. Yeah, I think. This Which is, side are you on? Okay, this is probably me. our most. Well, I know what you're about to say, but Taylor. it's a different thing. No, I, I don't know about that. I couldn't care less if she. I know what you're about to say about me. But um, <laughs> yes. Okay, so this is my my thing the with tracker. her tracker, and this is oh. so true. If anybody tracks Jamie, she makes sure that everybody has their tracker on at all times. I'm telling you, my tracker's off for two minutes because my phone is dead, and I have four texts when my phone is turned back on. No lie. Where you have you? Are murdered. you okay? Are you okay? Yes. Is this Are the you on the line? <laughs> like, yep. she is so on to Wit and I about mm-hmm. having our tracker on. Yep. That girl's <laughs> tracker goes on and off, it went off more than anyone. Three. No, Three. Jamie, it goes on. Three off. days, Jamie, Jamie. An hour off. An hour off. An hour off. <laughs> That is and true. Now we're on. Mm-hmm. Okay, Two days silent. Taylor texted me yesterday. <laughs> yes. and was like, hey, your tracker's off. I was like, my tracker's off? <laughs> and I explained to you why my yes, tracker was yes, off. Yes, <laughs> yes. And I turned it right on. I didn't know. But the tracker is a point of contention. Yeah, yes. It's a little. Yeah. yeah it's a yes. yeah. Do you guys track me? Yeah. yeah. It's always oh. on. <laughs> you have a heart by mine. And you I don't always... know why. Or a star. <laughs> oh, it means you're a favorite. Thank you oh, so I think. Much. I guess I track you. Right? <laughs> Making sure wow. you're not in the bedroom before I go Wait. and steal Jamie's clothes. <laughs> My main thing is just, Uh-oh. I would <laughs> just like oh. none of us to get murdered. Okay. Yeah. I, I think the odds yeah. are pretty good. Jamie, mm-hmm. we live in Allen. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I don't know if you tracking us is going to prevent it. You're no, just going to yeah. be able to find our body. <laughs> And do you want that trauma? I'm glad you know I'm safe in mourn. Dallas at 3 a.m. I will mourn like, over those bodies. <laughs> and oh I will oh At least you'll know where to find them. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. it's not going to help you stop it. <laughs> Well, they may or may not have taken our phone. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> but yes, tracker. I yeah. think the tracker we don't might have be the actual... most source of contention because Whitney yeah. hates being tracked. You don't care. I don't care at all. But then you call me out for but being tracked. But I called you out because when you're always on to me. Yeah. Mine we is sh- like, are you still at the other, store? Right. I'm like, well, you're tracking me. You can see. I'm <laughs> at the store. <laughs> Taylor? <laughs> it does help us, though, as a family That's to true. all track each other. And it's not yeah. fair for me to say that I shouldn't be tracked. I just turn my tracker off once in a while for specific okay. reasons. Yeah. Okay. Is that like, this is backstage, but you're not ready to divulge those reasons? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's way backstage, oh. guys. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe whoa, you whoa. can tell me that later. <laughs> I do put my well, phone in airplane mode when I nap. So I know that after the overnight right. shift, if you do yeah. see my trackers yeah. off or you see it during the day, yeah. I will turn it off. So is there a way wow. for us all to track each wow. the four of us to track <laughs> that's each deep. other? <laughs> And nobody else to track us. Yeah. Because I have a ton of people that track me. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, so you, you, oh, you, you only want And I don't have like- I need to, I need to look at this. Do yeah. I have a lot of people that track me? Well, yes. I think so. Oh, well, praise the Lord. Like, I don't- I, I don't all, like all that. Tracked, I don't think it- No. Yeah. There's just a lot of different scenarios. <laughs> yeah. It can be <laughs> creepy. We found it, you guys, we found it. Our yeah, point of- This is it. This is it. This is it. conflict. Yeah. I'll edit these minutes Whoa. down, but this is pretty, this yeah. is pretty telling. <laughs> this yeah. is. It's the tracker. <laughs> this um, is. I, I, I can tell you too, for you two. Easy. What? what? Oh, your, your point of contention? Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. Easy. Oh, no. Easy. Whitney, they make, it's very predictable without breakfast, and she also leaves crumbs on the counter. What? Every I morning. I touch the crumb. From that. <laughs> I don't even touch the counter. Every <laughs> morning, there's crumbs on the counter. <laughs> Taylor has the access to the closet. Oh, no. And I cannot get into the <laughs> attic. Because of oh, all because of, realm. of the clothes. But I will say it is clean right now. Thank you. That, that was very so proud. It is, it is clean right now. I got all the stuff in there. And um, When have you seen crumbs last? Because I haven't been in the kitchen. <laughs> I haven't even meal prepped in the kitchen. Or oh, made this my is, this is meals so in the this kitchen. Is, okay. it's okay. I just, it's one of my biggest right pet peeves, you know, is okay. being blamed for something that's not mine. Oh, wow. And I have not been in the kitchen. Maybe it was, maybe it was just Jamie. Is it Jamie? Because I eat egg casseroles every morning. (laughs) (laughs) Good one. Good one. (laughs) But I will own it. I will own it. Triggers going off everywhere. This is the entire point of this podcast. I take the blame. Okay. I'll take it. Yeah. What's yours? Oh, yeah. Uh oh. Oh no. I know mine already. It's coming. Oh, really? oh. I don't think you do. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. it's new. <laughs> I don't. Do you? Oh, no. What do you? Okay. Share, tell my, me. share one for me too. I could think of so many that in. you would have towards tell me. Tell me what Aww. you think. Not because mine would you be care, you. but because I am. We're, we're oh, still in recovery, confused. everyone. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a messy what person. Do you think? No, I. Okay. No, I thought mine would be your clothes. Oh no. You know, oh. you never Aww. care that I take them. Oh, put them back. But I don't put them back. Nope. You've oh, never oh. disrespected that. <gasps> wow. Since I five... have been holding on to this weight. <laughs> no, since five you years. You were going to tear that closet free. up. <laughs> <laughs> since Go five wild. years ago, when I bought a new sweater oh. 
um, sweatshirt oh, from I know Urban about, Outfitters, I know and thing, you were yeah. prancing into church Sunday morning. I had never <laughs> worn it, and you were walking in. I was like, okay, here's the here's that's the rules. too far. I get here's to wear the it rules. first or. If yeah. there's a tag, a you can't deal. wear it. Yep. Oh, that's good. You, I feel like you never All wear my stuff. Tags. Oh, no. I have no clothes stuff. Oh, amazing. No. That's what I thought incredible. it was going to be. No. Yeah. Whitney always texts me like, do you really not care if, like, you've made you me You never care if I just can't believe time. it. Because no, I care. never care if we I do care. Just yeah. guys wonder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Can you imagine? Know. Yeah, you see me So everybody work, share what, what you're missing <laughs> right now. Everybody has a missing item, right? Oh. Does anybody? What? Oh, okay, you have a missing item? Okay. No, I'm oh. the only one. Okay. <laughs> what are you missing? Oh, just missing things sometimes. <laughs> I'm sure oh. it just gets lost in the laundry. You do, you do blame people, though, when you start missing things. But there, <laughs> yeah, there I are do. times... That I do. it's not, the, no one's taken it. Yes. But and then find I find it. it. Yeah. Yes. Jamie finds it for me. A lot of stuff's behind the washer and dryer, <gasps> I've noticed. That was the Our stuff goes <laughs> over. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to tell you both. You oh, no. okay. I have my, and, my gra- and do mine too. My grievance is the exact same thing for both of you. Oh, oh the same thing. Oh. Mm-hmm. <gasps> what wow. is it? And Whitney never borrows my clothes. Yeah. So it has nothing to do Hold with on. clothes. What do you think? I'm trying to think. It's the exact same. Oh, yeah. I know it. For sure. The alarm. Nope. Not setting the alarm. Oh, nope. that's a good one. But that is a good one. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't, I'm not so. Sad. Yep. Tell us. Do I know this? Wait, now I. Spill yeah, the beans. You know oh. Wait, now the I'm. two so- of you what? cook stuff and take, like, let's say you're stirring onions. <laughs> you're stirring <laughs> onions. And oh, I do know this. What? Yep. I what? Do I'm know dying this. to know. What? Yep. You're stirring onions and you take the, you take the spoon out. You just set the spoon with full of onions in the dishwasher. You know, don't For rinse real? it. Let's oh, say cheese. Wow. But you, but you yeah. don't, yeah, you don't rinse you don't the rinse food it. off nope. utensils. Oh my goodness, this is a great the time. Number we, of <laughs> I for sure do that all the time. The oh. number of onions. Oh, yeah. I know. I know. I did last oh. night. The number of onions. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the thing that oh. both of you. Yeah, mine would be the cheese. Mustard. Yours is Yours would cheese. Be the onions. The I'm cheese that is stuck on spoons. <laughs> oh. As I am like looking in the dishwasher and I'm like, there's just a, a spoon full of cheese in the dishwasher. <laughs> or, or a knife full of onions oh, in the dishwasher. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. That's wow. wow. I think this all goes to say, we have a pretty good thing I know. going. <laughs> yes, if those are I'm going to be aware of that. Pretty good. Movie, those are all of yes. our complaints. Movie what no. about you two roomies? Oh, yeah, Ooh. two of us. You two are roomies. Yeah. <laughs> really <laughs> back give behind. Me one for you. You're welcome, audience. You, you, give, you give one to me first. <laughs> okay, let me give you. Let me Backstage say what you. Oh, what I think. You oh, you'll would guess say mine. I guess I'll guess yours. Yeah. Okay. Oh. As, as far as roommates, right? Like yeah, roommate stuff. Hmm. Fun one is that <laughs> Dustin always, or not always, you would you would blanket, oftentimes blanket tell me when you take, he takes the kids to school every day. Yeah. Right? So he takes the boys to school every mm-hmm. morning. And when he leaves, I go out, I wave goodbye, kisses, 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 <laughs> come back in, shut the garage door. Yeah. But, but he <laughs> lately said, please don't keep shutting the garage door because sometimes they need to come back for something. So that's oh. a h- huge hindrance <laughs> to your pro- your morning process. <laughs> and oh. so I stopped shutting the garage door in the morning when you take the kids to school. Which yeah, you're after ama- Genesis, which was, you're Genesis was pinned under the garage door, I thought whatever, it was time to stop true, shutting whatever, it before they were outside. Whatever. And so I <laughs> stopped shutting the garage door and two days, not in a row, but two days, he did, failed to shut the garage door as he drove away. Oof. So I scream at him when he leaves now with the boys, shut the garage door! <laughs> <laughs> That's the oh, fun one. Oh, oh, wow. I'd have to really think about a oh. heavy one. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Um, what, what's the hardest thing about living with me? These doors are a real hindrance. You know? Yeah, oh, the I, doors. I, I, the doors, doors and trackers. The doors, the alarms, and the yeah. trackers. Um, I'm sure it's me taking your clothes. Oof. No. 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 The light. Wow. No. What the, light? the light. The light in the bathroom is is what a. What are we talking about? Well, we just talked just about. Turn just off little, the light before go, he's like, ready. I'll be in there actively oh, okay. dressing her, working, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and then you leave and you just click, click all the lights off. And I'm just she closes it down in there in the dark. And I'll go back, turn the light back on. Wait. I'll get going. If you come back again, click click click, no. click all the lights off. <laughs> I'll go back. <laughs> Okay. Um, oh, that's too good. <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably that's a funny one. Yeah, yeah, those are funny ones. I feel like we could get more raw, but I. Well, the the other one for okay. me oh, is okay. um, <laughs> when I come home and everyone in the house is asleep, 
and oh, I'm coming home and the, the, pi- the house is pitch black. The alarm is on. <laughs> it's late at night. I'm tired. I have to change. I've got to get into bed. And <laughs> there are li- either kids oh, or kids so stuff, cars, Ooh. Legos, swords, chargers, iPads, <laughs> only on my side of the bed, <laughs> right where I get into the bed. So I have to it turn must on be the light. So hard to not have a pass. Turn on the. <laughs> That's so tough. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Your path to your pillow. Wow. Is littered. <laughs> I don't know if you made fun of everybody else's, <laughs> but wow, interesting. Oh, <laughs> no. That is funny. Mm. I tried to do good last time. Yeah, but. thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> guys. This was fun. I tried to shut the garage door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this was good. So, what do you guys love most about living with us? Oh, that was easy. <laughs> That's very easy. Oh. Really? In part B, I want to know what do you guys love about living with each other? Oh, that's the so besties good. in the house. Yes, oh. yeah. Okay, the um, best part about living with y'all so so easy. Jude and Jude Jen. And Jen I'm oh obviously. yeah, so easy. Like I get to get <laughs> home from work unifier. and hang out <laughs> with my nephews. Oh my gosh, watching them grow up in this close proximity. <laughs> There's nothing, There's nothing like, better. Tell Jude the and sto- Jen. <laughs> Tell the story about when they barged into you in the bathroom with the iPad. Oh, oh my gosh, This y'all. is my, this honestly, is, this might be my favorite so auntie Taylor's hey hey story. So, they, we, they call her hey hey. Yes, I'm hey hey. Story of all so, time. So I'm taking a shower <laughs> and the shower curtain is closed and the boys and I share, share a bathroom. Bathrooms, yeah. But they also know how to unlock the locks <laughs> with their fingernails. <laughs> and so this I'm showering. Like Jude was ago, really right? little. Yeah. He was like tiny. Was, he was what? So long ago. Three maybe. Yeah, super tiny. small. And I was showering and all of a sudden I hear Jude come in and I'm like, oh Jude, I'm in the I'm in the shower. Just I'll be out in a second. What do you need? And he's laughing, so like oh. giggling up a storm. And he takes the curtain, puts his hand on the curtain, takes the curtain, shoves it open, <laughs> oh. has an iPad with a video, with a video oh my on goodness. recording me saying oh my God. pranked ya. <laughs> <laughs> So oh. wholesome, so innocent. That I'm like the grabbing the curtains, like Jude, Jude, chasing <laughs> after him with the iPad. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. gosh! Have you deleted I'm, this I'm, footage? Oh, I girl, may have deleted to cut from that the. One, yeah, you might oh have to cut that one. Oh that is my gosh! That's my so funny. Favorite. Yeah, <laughs> just oh, being with the boys, I would say is number one. Oh, I just don't know how I'm ever gonna move out. I told Jude the other day. He asked me if I was gonna marry Christian, and I said I don't know. That's why we're not engaged yet. And he said, "Does that mean if you get married, you're gonna have to?" move out oh no and I was like oh it was it was really sad I was like yeah and he was like he goes that's gonna be really sad oh Oh, yeah he straight up said it yeah it was so like living with them is just the best um and then I have one more I'll be quick um getting to hang out with Jamie and Dee they're truly like my best friends like and we obviously but we're talking about them like I texted them tonight and was like hey if y'all are free tonight let's watch in for that let's watch a new show like just (laughs) getting to like have little they're friends. They're not just yeah. family. Hanging out with them if it's mm-hmm. been a long day, watching something, having a good dinner that Jamie cooks us. Ooh. Like just getting to be together. Ooh, I'm such ever. a quality time person. Yeah. So yeah. That's so fun. I love that. Yeah. Um, for me, I just love like however how busy we all are. Yeah. We always come back together, whether it be quarantine or mm-hmm. whatever. Whenever we come to yeah. back together, it's like I mean, we are so close. We know each other so well. We have such a good relationship. And I just love that. Like, literally, like G said, like months without seeing each other. And then we just like— Literally. Yes, just go right back to where where we we were. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. And I love that so much. And it's so special. And I just love how real all of us are. And like, especially with you guys, like seeing all that you go through. But like, you're the same. Like D, speaking every Sunday, like he comes home, he's the same person. Like he doesn't Um, change. And seeing his heart for God and like— wake up in the morning and see him praying. I'm like, like the church has no idea that he does that like yeah. on his own. Like it's just really special to see that that can be modeled like right in front of me. So it's really cool. I love that about living with y'all. Seeing Aww. that. We love Man. you guys. Yeah. What do you guys like most about living with each other? Oh my goodness. We need oh another God. podcast Boy, for this. <laughs> like, <laughs> so many podcasts. Their relationship. Oh, oh my God. God. Lifeline. I'm starting this one. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. I will just say that Taylor, oh my goodness, has brought me through the hardest yeah. times in my life. And 
I don't want to cry. She's one person now. that I will. It will bring me to tears every time. But yeah. the, wow. the things that we have shared with each yeah. other and the just like the trust that we've built within each other is just the most special. Like she is my genuine like sister, and I just uh. feel so close and like. She has never, ever been judgmental. I could share the, like, my deepest, darkest secrets, and I have, <laughs> with her, like, I did this, Taylor. And she'll be like, okay, <laughs> like, let's talk through it. And, like, I could just, yeah, I could just yeah. open up and just be myself. And that's, that's awesome. honestly been a huge contributor. Actually, yeah. I just give it to you, like, for building my confidence. <laughs> yeah, for no, real. that's real, though. Come on, like, yeah. seriously, yeah. Love yeah. For yes. who you are. For who I am. And yeah. Like, yeah. Yes, to be able to make mm-hmm. mistakes and not be judged. And she just was always right there and just loving me no matter what. Like, yeah. that is a true picture of unconditional love. It's like, yeah. for <laughs> you, so. Thanks. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> oh, I'll say all I the same you. things back to her. <laughs> Every single thing that she just said, she does for me, too. Um, well, if you know Wit, you know, she's like the most empathetic person Mm. in the entire world. Like she never has like something to say or something to kick back or somehow she's going to fix it. Like she just listens and she loves so big. And I am not a verbal processor by any means. And I'm not vulnerable by nature. And Whitney, I can tell everything too. Like (laughs) I tell like Mm. my, like she's saying like the deepest, darkest secrets, the The hard stuff, the bad days, the terrible days, the terrible Mm -hmm. thoughts that I just feel awful about and I need to get out. And she just listens and loves and empathizes and gives so much grace and advice. And, oh, man, I truly don't (laughs) – I don't know if I'd be here without her. No, <laughs> no, no, yeah, but, no, I'm but here. honestly, like, <laughs> the, I year, feel that way. the last couple years yeah. that like yeah. we've been through, just as like a family, a yeah. church, everything, like having someone that is just like your safest, safest person mm-hmm. who gets you and knows you and loves you mm-hmm. so well. Um, yeah, it's just I'm the so best. Good. And this is the power of like, I think D, you, you spoke a message years ago about destination versus direction Mm -hmm. and you both came here for us you got each other yeah Yeah. how wild is that yeah Yeah. like you you came when we were going through yeah i mean we barely had a scrap of time or emotional energy but you can't like your dis you thought maybe your destination was us yeah and the direction was he brought you each other yeah which is god is the (laughs) best so good yeah the best truly it's so good (laughs) so love you guys love you turn your love y'all everybody turn your trackers on turn trackers on (laughs) and see you at home tonight (laughs) (laughs) unlock the door for us please love you